topic is communication with dead clarification or clarified now this topic i have already made i think couple of years back when i said uh, communication with dead i had given a heading in the channel of mahakali vedic healing shelter and a massive crowd approached us through mails to the gmail they write to the team and even till date people watch that video and uh, or maybe they go to the website and then, then they see this section and they contact us massively okay but i do not understand one thing that whatever i have said in that video regarding the rules and the regulations of the communication with dead series for that matter people are not listening to that carefully people are not grasping that fact internally they are only focusing on that no we need to talk with the dead people are you uh, the person who can connect with uh, those people and you want to hear the voice of the dead one you want to ask certain question or sometimes emotionally they are so much which is quite understandable that emotionally they are so much broken from inside that they just say that we want to hear the voice of our deceased uh, family member or the loved one okay giving respect to that and with the due respect i would like to say that the rules and regulations which are made is for your own precaution levels and not crossing over the line of a different dimension level you are not supposed to you are not allowed no human should be allowed and is allowed to enter someone else's dimension where you do not belong to because you will be disturbing the soul you will be disturbing that energy unnecessarily for you this is an emotional back uh, you know uh, drawback or a loss i completely understand that but then you have to hear that video very carefully that what am i seeing in it so few things clarifications that i wanted to give to those people who are even till date contacting us randomly for speaking to the loved ones okay See, first of all, it is nothing to do with your emotional level that you want to connect. You should not connect, like I just said, okay? Because things can backfire you on you tremendously. We do not take cases in which it is only an emotional trauma. I have mentioned in that uh, video specifically, there has to be a very big reason. It has to be a maybe a dosh or a pitra dosh or maybe a curse. or maybe some sort of a message if they are trying to give you and you will not be a part of that process it is not the way it is shown in the films in the movies that you're sitting there with a with a practitioner or with a mediator and you're listening to the voices we do not indulge into these kind of processes we are not into these kind of processes i have mentioned it specifically okay the kind of stuff we do is like i just said if it has to be a very solid reason for you to contact us before first of all that you want to know about a certain thing that maybe your loved one wanted to tell you or you getting some signs or dreams that you know he or she is trying to communicate something the signs about it i have already given the examples i have already given in the communication with dead video i would not repeat that here again but the only thing i wanted to convey through this video is that do not write on mails that you know uh, communication with dead video we have seen and yes after that rules and regulations only we are coming to you whereas you saying that when can we be the part of uh, communication with dead process if you are thinking you can be a part of it you cannot be a part of it then what video have you heard so people who are new to the channel and they're thinking what am i talking about please go and refer to that video of communication with dead on mahakali vedi ki uh, shelter channel you will understand that what are the themes that i have given that only in these particular possibilities communication with dead will be done and that you will not be a part of it anyways it will be only the spiritual team and me myself who will be part of it and there are only number of questions maybe three or five questions that you can ask okay so this is what it is 
so please do not send the mails that we are really disheartened and we are really emotional about the fact that i really want to hear my husband's voice or my wife's voice and i just want to have a conversation with her or him no this is nothing it is not that you are just because a person is not in this world so you can contact the person you'll be disturbing that soul as well remember this and sometimes you never know when you go into that section of communicating with the dead there is certain kind of other negative energies also the portal of the negativity is also sometimes open during that time and then you are not prevented you do not have the precaution or the protection that you can deal with that energy you need to understand this you can get possessed with something which is absolutely negative maybe not from your loved one but you know in that dimension that you contacting so communication with dead is not a joke it is a very serious and a responsible act to do and even we are not allowed to unnecessarily disturb the different dimension for our own selfish emotional trauma that we are going through when i'm saying selfish i simply mean that as humans we would feel that but then that line of we being the humans and life after death there's a lot of difference in that you need to let it go you need to balance yourself and i know it is tough it's easier said than done but in any of the situations you cannot cross the line of the universal laws because the moment anyone does that the repercussions are going to be severe okay so even if you come to us or you do not come to us after the clarification of this video that i'm making who whom ever so you go to remember this this is the most dangerous form where you sitting in front of well, with the mediator and doing this process do not stake your lives also into such dangerous elements okay and if you are coming in the rules and regulations of the sections that i have mentioned in the previous video of communication with dead then of course you can contact the team write to them ask for an appointment online write your questions ask for the um, fees which is available for this or is eligible for this and from that section it will be taken forward okay so i've given this clarification again and i hope you people take this seriously and respectfully and you follow this okay so that's about it next week i'll see you with another topic till then goodbye